And I got enough ingredients to make up something that I've always wanted to make up, and you wouldn't believe what it is. Now it's a tongue twister, a self-sourcing sticky date pudding. Now the kids will love this one because I know when I was a kid, I loved making dessert because I got to lick the bowl. All right, so first of all, let's get the sauce on the stove. So we're going to need a little bit of brown sugar, and we're also going to need some hot water. So got some water in here. So I'll get that sucker cranking in the background and I'll get this fired up as well. So we get a bit of butter in there, melted butter, need a little bit of vanilla essence, about that much. Uh, go a bit more. Brown sugar, how much? Oh, I don't know, about that much, that'll do. And some cream, let's put about that much cream in there and stir it all up on heat. So we're just gonna let that do its thing. That water is boiled, that is fast. Now let's make the date or the, the pudding part of it, the cakey part of it, okay? So to make a cake, you need things like self-raising flour, how much? Uh, about that much. <laughs> Might need a bit more actually. Yeah, about that much, all right. I'm just gonna fluff it up a bit. So then, you know, it sort of aerates the flour, you know, like you use a sieve, you know, sort of get the lumps and crap out of it. Then I've got some chopped up dates, because it's a sticky date. That's the sticky, this is the date. So chuck that in there. Bit of butter, put a bit of butter in. So I've got some melted butter here, which is pretty much melted on its own by having it out of the fridge. So I'm gonna put about that much in. How much that is, I don't know. That spoon, that in there. Um, a bit of uh, vanilla essence. I love the vanilla essence. Um, you can use the boiling water, but don't forget the eggs. You've got to get the eggs out of the fridge. So I'm going to chuck two eggs in there. So two eggs. Grab the hot water, just a little bit at a time, so that I don't sort of get the mixture too too runny, basically. And don't forget the brown sugar. So we put a big helping of brown sugar in there. About that much. That'll do. Mix him up. Now it's starting to look like a sticky date pudding. Yeah, that's looking good. That's a good consistency there. You see how I just dribbled that water in? You know, if you need more, you put more. But remember, if you've got too much, then you've got to put a bit more flour in. That's looking real good. I think that is ready. Alrighty, we are now ready to do what you can't forget to do. And that is grease the pan because it will stick like a monkey on a banana if you don't do that. Okay, we're ready. What do we do? Put that in there and that in there. Don't forget your sauce because we're going to do the sauce self-sourcing. So you know what that means, don't you? When you tip it out on the plate, it'll already be sourced up. So what I'll do is I'll put that dribbly sauce in the bottom of my tin. And then I'll keep a little bit for extra. You've got to have extra. I'll spin that around. I might even put a little bit more in there. Like that. Oh, that was gold. Then I put this mixture on top. Just like this. And away we go. On top she goes. Always wanted to make a sticky date. I've never ever got around to it. So here it is. Remembering, it all expands. So need a little bit of room. So you can see the sauces on the edges there. And we are good to go. So I'm gonna grab the camp oven, put it here, and I'm gonna grab the sticky date. And remember, don't forget the trivet. That's that thing there, okay? That's the trivet, because uh, that's what's gonna stop it from burning on the bottom. And you can cook things a lot quicker by not having to just put the coals on top. You can put them on the bottom as well. Let's get it on the coals. I think this is going to be awesome. Put a few on top there to get it cracking. There we go. Half of the 40. And remember to check it. All 
Alrighty, I reckon she's about ready. Let's have a quick look. Oh yes, look at that, it's bubbling away. Ooh, that's hot. Oh, look at that. And what I'll do is I'll grab a big, big slice of the old pie, that's it. With the sauce, you can see the sauce on the edges there, so it's sort of been cruising around in that sauce. And then what I'll do is, I'll get a little bit extra from here and I'll dribble it on top. There we go. A little bit on top. Like that. Oh, it's going to be gold. Pour a little bit of cream over the top. And that, my friend, is a sticky date pudding. Absolutely awesome. And let's see what it tastes like. So this one's a little bit well done. You can probably pull it off a bit quicker than that. I'll let it go a bit longer. Oh. So that creamy sauce, all that sauce that sat around the edges, it sort of caramelizes. And the longer you leave it, it sort of becomes like sort of toffee. Mm. And it just melts into the edges and gives it a crispy edge. He's better self-sourcing. And there you go. Diggy date pudding in the bush. I don't know where the boys are, but I don't care. I reckon there's just enough here for me. I hope you like that recipe, because there's many more in my new bush cookbook about that much.